The first piece of artwork we will be looking at is the sign that names the town. The sign was created by Patrick Tutu Fuoco and marks the Orient Express, the most glamorous of trains and epitome of stylish international travel. Tutu Fuoco and two of his collaborators reenacted the classic journey from Istanbul to Paris. This sculpture is the end result of their journey. The individual letters were chanced upon by the artists through social situations and incidents with people along the route. There were many significant pieces of art laid out in 2008 when the Triennial first started. One of the pieces, created by Mark Wallinger, was part of a memorial for all of the soldiers who were killed on the 1st of July 1916, the first day of the Battle of the Somme. 19,240 individual stones were numbered and placed in concrete to remember how many people died that day. This piece was inspired by the one million soldiers who left from Folkestone Harbour to fight on the battlefields of France. The next piece from 2008 was a project made by Tracy Emin. Emin uses events from her personal life as inspiration for her work. Her bronze replicas of baby clothes are reminders of Folkestone's high teenage pregnancy rate. Her work, Baby Things, can be found tucked under benches, hanging from railings or just lying on the curb. As I went, walked around Folkestone I saw a lot of young mums with their babies and I was so in Margate in this whole area actually the South East has got a high population of teenage mums and it really annoys me that people always think that teenage mums are stupid when actually some of the most intelligent girls have babies when they're young and um, um, and I decided to make something for them. I walk along the beautiful Folkestone Lees and we arrive at our next destination. The voices that can be heard are readings of letters to and from servicemen from the First World War. I will plainly stay with you a little time after I win. If you are writing to Lou, tell her I was sorry I could not very well manage to meet her in London. I think she would quite understand. I will write to her myself in a few days. Well, my own darling, heaps and heaps of love and lots of kisses until I see you again. Having passed through Folkestone on their way to the battlefields in France and Belgium, the town became a poignant sight for the soldiers in these personal and intimate reflections on love and separation in the midst of war. These were created by Christian Boltanski and remembered by thousands. A couple of years later, and we get to 2011, when the next triennial took place. The piece, The Colour of Water, was created by Spencer Finch. Finch observed the ever-changing tone and colour of the channel over several weeks throughout 2010. He looked at colour, light, perception and place. This piece now stands on the Lees, where participants can look through the aperture and match the colour of the sea to one of the hundred samples. Towards the Sound of Wilderness was a piece created by Christina Inglesia. Her work is an illusion of an entrance to another world. Visitors need to negotiate a path cut through shrubs and trees to find a mirrored walk-in structure. The structure is made from resin foliage. The end of the passageway is a window that opens up a view of the overgrown tower and moat. Our next piece was created by Cornelia Parker. This piece was created as a Folkestone version of Copenhagen's Little Mermaid. To most Folkestonians, this is just a normal thing, but to faraway visitors, it's a piece to remember. This is a permanent piece of the Folkestone Triennial, and people travel hundreds of miles just to see this piece of work. Our next piece is a remembrance piece for the French Revolution. Along the famous Folkestone Lees is a two-sided clock. One side is a 10-hour clock facing towards France, and the other side is a 12-hour clock facing towards England. There were many other pieces as part of the 2011 Triennial, like the famous Leicestershire Bell that was removed for being out of tune with the other bells, as well as the walking coast-to-coast -coast map that Hamish Fulton created. We now move on to 2014. Our first piece from our Folkestone Triennial 2014 is the luckiest place on earth. This is located at Folkestone Central Railway Bridge. This piece was created by Strange Cargo. Under the bridge is a recycling point for luck and wishes. Here is where a disc -like receptacle lies, where passers-by deposit a penny to make a wish or take a penny for good luck. Our last but not final piece of work is a piece that was created by artist Will Kwan. Kwan was born in 1978 in Hong Kong. His work is located in the Vinery, which was formerly a glass roof sitting area that was perched on the cliff edge on the Lees. Kwan makes art that takes a critical view of the visual and material culture of globalization and examines the socio-political and cultural consequence of how the globe is represented. 